Hello everyone, Tyler with Diesel Laptops. We are going to do a side-by-side -side comparison with the Cummins OEM software version 8.3, latest version as of late October 2017, versus uh, Texa, and we're on version 42 currently for that. So uh, we have the TXT box for Texa hooked up right now. You can see the blinky lights going on. Here we have our Cummins CM2350 ECM. So what we wanna do is we wanna compare uh, how good this tool is compared to the OEM software. So first thing first, uh, parameters, we have 150. I did not go through and actually compare and see if they each had 150. I can tell you from experience before, and of the thousands of these we've sold, we have yet to find one missing. So I'm pretty confident everything's in there. The other one is faults. So faults, there's two types, there's active and inactive, all right? So as we uh, go through the list here, you could count them all out. But we've already counted, there's 31 active codes. We have no sensors hooked up to this thing. And there's also five inactive codes, which are displayed right there on the screen. So important numbers to remember. Uh, like we compare it to our Snap-on Pro Link Ultra, you'll find out that that tool has very, very few. It shows actually like one inactive code and 51 active codes, which is totally inaccurate. Um, ECU Info tab, this is simply where you're gonna see your, your calibration level that you're on. Uh, your engine serial number, uh, what, what it is, all that good stuff, right? ISX, et cetera. So activations, uh, I will say the one thing with Texa is they name their things a little bit differently. But as you go through, you'll find all the real commands in here. Cylinder cutoff tests, cylinder performance tests, your DEF tests. Um, that's actually for your, uh, your SCR system, that one, the dozing module. Uh, EFC actuator test. This is a command that's missing on the snap-on. You can watch one of our other videos. You'll see that one's missing on there. Um, engine state monitoring. Uh, I believe they had that one. Eh, maybe they didn't have that one. Uh, I know they did not have um, that. That command is missing from the snap-on tool. So all the commands are in here. The ones you didn't see on the list that are important, the two VGT commands, one to calibrate, one to install, very important, obviously. All these other things in here, all the settings you can change, tire size, road speed governor, cruise control, PTO speeds, PTO settings, maximum vehicle speed, DPF regeneration is right there. Uh, right into the VIN number, you know, very powerful tool. Uh, there's your resets for some of your emission components as well. And way at the top here is your after treatment filter reset command crew settings. So uh, very, very complete. Um, I want to compare it to the list that I'm about to show you. I'm going to have Kamisha go ahead and swap out the cables here though for the, uh, uh, the ECM. So we're going to hook up the Drew Link, which is this little guy here. And we're going to use OEM software. So this is from what I was hooked up to before. We're not actually hooked up to anything right now. So let me close all the windows and uh, we'll go connect to ECM and get hooked up with this guy. All right, so when you're looking at any tool um, that's not OEM software, you always want to ask a couple questions. Uh, number one being, how close do you get to dealer level? That's really what the question most people have. Uh, the problem with today, with a lot of other vendors that are out there, you'll find they don't have that dealer level capability. Uh, they give you kind of a little bit or a lot, but not everything, with the exception being, honestly, Texa is by far the most complete. So we're already, we're already connected here. It's gonna pop up a second asking about um, some other stuff. We'll just kinda, kinda wait here. For the, there it goes, it wants to do a little image. We don't need to do that. Let's hit, hit close there. Uh, it's popping up as a new calibration level to be found. Of course, OEM software is the only thing that can do calibration updates and only a few vendors allow you to do that. So we're hooked up, so let's go look at fault codes. All right, reading data. Um, as you count through them here, you will find it has the 31, the exact same number that is on the Texa tool. And you also see that it's showing five inactive codes. And again, compare that to the Snap-on that shows 51 active codes and one inactive code. So we know it's reading improperly. The other question is the ECM diagnostic tests and commands. So click the button there and it'll, you know, probably popped it up list behind it. So let me, let me close. Oh, the fault codes are hiding it. All right, close the fault codes. So there's the list of all the tools and command, uh, all the commands and bi-directional things, tests that we can do. Uh, when we compared it to the Texa, Texa, like I said, does name them different. They got some hidden in each menu. 
so it takes a little bit to go through there. Um, but they are they are all in the text of tool that it sells. Um, the other deal is parameters. <coughs> and again, if you've ever used Cummins Insight, you already know this. It will definitely read all the parameters on your engine and allow you to change them all. So I'll just make sure they populate here real quick. So, uh, of course, some are locked. You can't change them uh, because they're set that way from the factory or they're just inherent to the engine. You just can't change them with the software. Uh, we'll show you that here in a second when it loads. So the other question to ask yourself too when buying a diagnostic tool is about updates and support. The advantage of the Texa is for a year you get all the updates and support that you want and your tool keeps working. OEM software obviously needs to get paid for every year if you're buying the legit stuff. So some of these things have, have locks on them, right? It's read only, it can't be modified. Other things can. So cruise control, if I wanted to go in here and change this from 98 to uh, 99 to 98 miles per hour. Right, it would pop, it'll pop up over there, and then you have to save it, you'd right click, send to ECM, and cycle the key, and all that stuff, which we're not gonna do. But overall, just wanna do a side-by-side -side comparison with the OEM software with Cummins. Uh, every command that I can find in here, I can find on our, on our Texa tool. Uh, parameters, things I can change on here, I can change on our Texa tool. So very good tool for the money. And of course, Texa does all engines, all makes, all models. And this is obviously just Cummins Insight. But we thought you'd appreciate a side-by-side -side comparison. So thank you for watching.